Hi and welcome to episode 2 of Rating and Reviewing Celebrity Brands. We're still sticking to the beauty realm but I think I should step out of beauty and try other brands as well. So by the end of this video, if you've seen a celebrity brand that I haven't talked about, definitely let me know down below in the comments. Let's not make this intro any longer, let's dive right into it. Before we go any further into today's video, I want to take a minute to talk about a product and a brand that I think all of you should know about. I'm talking about India's very first collagen food topper. You heard that right. Collagen is something that we've all heard about the benefits for and marine collagen sometimes skin tastes weird. But I'm about to share with you a product that is a marine collagen that does not taste fishy, does not smell weird, does not change the smell, taste, consistency of your food. And it's a major, major, major bonus that you can put this inside any liquids or your food as a food topper or into drinks in literally a second with one of their sachets. I'm talking about Bloom by Bold Care. Each of these sachets is three grams and it really enhances your intake no matter what. Plus, of course, if you know I'm pregnant, you know this is a pregnancy safe product as well. I love that it has so many benefits, whether you're looking for enhancing your skin, uh, skin vitality, fine lines, wrinkles, just making it better and healthier. Whether you have joint health issues that you're looking into, collagen has so many benefits. This will really help all of that. You will also see visible results in six weeks. Let me go ahead and show you my way and choice of having it. Okay, so my favorite way of having this is just to take a glass of water. You know, I love to hydrate. I go ahead and reach for a sash. They have about 30 sashes in every single box. It's very easy to tear it up. So it's very travel friendly as well. And I go ahead and pour it into the glass mix it and literally that is it i love how easily this mixes into food and drinks and it gives no change in taste no fishy smell it's the perfect pure marine collagen peptide in a topper format that makes every single drink and every single food a collagen booster you are going to see a visible difference in six weeks and i'm going to tell you to go ahead and give this a go to really understand why i'm praising it the way i am and of course, another way of doing this is to go ahead and use the food topper on your food, reiterating that this does not change the food taste at all, which I absolutely love making any meal a collagen booster instantly. So there you have it. You know why I'm recommending this and how I think you should try it too. You can go ahead and click on the link down below in the description section if you want to check it out. And don't forget to use the code AM20 for a 20% off on their website. I'm going to go ahead and let you get back to the video, but I do want to say thank you to Bloom by Bold Care for partnering with me for a small portion of today's video. I want to say a big fat thank you before we start with the first brand because I received so much love on episode one. You enjoyed the deep dive, the business side of things when it came to the way I spoke about the brand. So I'm going to try to keep that continuous into this episode as well. I want to talk about a brand that has my heart in a way that I did not think was possible. We're kicking off with Lady Gaga's House Labs. Now, House Labs is a brand that originally launched as an Amazon exclusive many years ago. For whatever reason, I think that eventually kind of got split up. The business deal went, did not go through or the business deal did not last long, rather, I should say. And now you can shop House Labs pretty much on Sephora and stuff as well. House Labs is not presently available in India. I do hope one of the platforms brings them into India because the products are absolutely stellar. I've seen a range of the products online. However, the one product that I have tried and loved in a way that I did not know I could love a foundation has to be this one right here. In my hands is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I wear the shade 300 in this and this makes my skin look like my skin but still so much better than my skin it is very medium to sheer coverage you can still build it up to being more coverage as well i won't call it an absolute full coverage but it does get quite close let me put it like that when it comes to the branding uh like i said i think that when it came to the launch there was a little bit of a back and forth with this particular celebrity brand which i have to tell you i have to also commend that it could have gone horribly wrong for the brand in a way that they could not have been able to recover from because truly when it comes to businesses and businesses that launch with such big faces your first impression can sometimes be your last impression but they really did come out of it very very well one also a very weird thing about the time that they launched in about the year that they launched in was that they launched with pre-orders even before the actual launch launch which is another really weird thing i want to point out because when smaller brands do things like pre-orders it makes sense because you're trying to get a feel of what 
kind of inventory should we stock up i'll give you an example we just did uh, pre orders for verified but we did pre orders for verified from the point of view our inventory had already come we just needed to catch up with previous orders which is why we called it pre orders in this case however there was i think a one monthish lead time so it kind of felt like they were still gauging what kind of inventory to stock up with in batch 1 before going ahead and uh, launching the brand like hard launching the brand it was like a soft launch which i found weird because when a brand has such deep pockets one assumes for the brand to be able to do more which now the brand has definitely done i will go ahead and say that i am going to be traveling soon and i am dying to get my hands on their concealer because i've seen the videos online and it looks so freaking fantastic This foundation, like I already mentioned about the formula, I love. But I also want to say they seem like a brand that is truly paying attention to the whole packaging experience. I've mentioned this in the last video as well. But for example, when you have an H over here and this bent over uh, cap, this is all custom packaging. You expect brands at this scale to be able to do that, and uh, I think that they have done it in a way that has a lot of finesse, a lot of simplicity. Something about the packaging screams old money to me, and I'm not a fan of the phrase old. old money because i find it so controversial we'll leave that for another video um but i will say that i do like the way this brand presents itself online i also want to say i love the fact that they don't hard push lady gaga like she's there you see it she is the founder or co-founder of the brand but they don't use her in a way that seems like she is everywhere whereas and of course there are advantages and disadvantages and pros and cons to this from a business side whereas um rare beauty uses selena so much or fenty uses rihanna so much and like i said there is overselling and then there is balanced and i think that with them they definitely underuse her so there's some kind of a mix that i think some of the brands do right i should talk about the next celebrity brand also cuz i think that they do that very very right but all in all if i had to rate house labs based on overall branding visuals socials communication product wise i have to be honest and say there's only one product i've tried and really really loved so i have super high expectations out of the others i intend on getting my hands on i would give them a solid 9 out of 10 let's move on to a brand that i have surprisingly fallen in love with i'll tell you why surprisingly a unfortunately not available in india hopefully will come to india they reached out to me in the dms and said that they wanted to send me pr which absolutely made my day the brand i'm talking about is rosy huntington whiteley's brand rose ink and i have the foundation as well as concealer over here i thought i also got the body oil but i'll insert a picture for you on the screen right now the body oil is next to my bed it is something i reach for every single night while going to sleep like i'm someone that likes to nourish my body moisturize my body every single night and uh, i like to do something after showers and before i go to bed and i've become even more vigilant about it since pregnancy because i'm just trying to keep my skin feel nice trying to keep the itchiness at bay trying to you know i you can't really avoid stretch marks altogether because so much of it is genetic but um i will say that i'm loving using their illuminating body oil their foundation and concealer is another set of products that i want to particularly talk about i'm wearing the foundation today on my skin it is one of those very lightweight is it even on your face kind of formulas the exact name for it is the soft light skin smoothing liquid foundation and i have this in the shade i wear this in the shade 13m which is a really 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 good match for me i used to wear a lot of warm foundations back in the day but about 4 or 5 years ago i realized neutrals suit me so much better the concealer i have in the shade lx090 i have a slightly different opinion on the concealer The shade is more or less okay for me. I have a feeling it's gone a little bit cool because I can sometimes feel a little bit of graying on my under eyes when I wear this. I'm not wearing it right now. I'm wearing the dark shape tape in tan sand on my under eyes right now. Um but I love the foundation so much more than I love the concealer. I think it could be because when I'm wearing the foundation, I don't mind being in minimal coverage, medium coverage, you know, just barely there kind of girly. When it comes to my concealers though, I mean business. I need the coverage. I need to make sure you can cover everything. I hope you are crease free. This one I don't think is fully crease free and this one unfortunately does not get as much of a pass as this one does. This one passes with flying colors in my opinion, much like the body oil. 
coming to the way that their visuals are the way they use rosy or the fact that even if you look at their packaging um again custom packaging very unique there's something so special about the way this looks like when i have this sitting in my tray inside my drawer in my vanity i see the shape of this and i can instantly tell what the product is they have gone ahead and sent me a whole range of products like i have lipsticks from them i have a lip balm from them uh and a few others but these are the three products that i have tried and really like gone into the concealer like i said is strictly okay but the other two are absolutely amazing um with branding packaging i really really like what i see and i want to like this brand based on these two products makes me want to try more of their products you know what i mean and i think that that's a really good sign when you like products enough to want to give it word of mouth and also want to go back as a shopper uh to experience more of the product that i think is just absolute goals something that i hope I'm constantly able to do with my own brand as well. If I had to rate this brand um out of 10, I think I would give them a solid 8 out of 10, maybe 7 and a half out of 10. A few of the things being that I wish there were more detailed ways and things and visuals on their social media. Uh and when it comes to usage of celebrity, I think that they are not really at that line. They're slightly like uh on the lower side of how much they use rosy i think that there's such a fine line treading over there where it's like suddenly it's too much or is it just a little less i think they could use her a little bit more i definitely want to get to know this brand a little bit more based on the fact that what i've seen seems absolutely fantastic the next brand and this one was super highly requested is a kind by meera kapoor now a kind is a very very new skincare brand launched by meera kapoor they talk about the mix of cleanliness ayurveda like when i say cleanliness i mean like clean ingredients formulations um within skincare now with skincare i can only do first impressions i obviously cannot do a full fledged review because i haven't used the product enough i will tell you that when it comes to branding visuals socials this brand has done a bang up amazing job um their visuals seem great having neera on board for a brand like this in itself is such a great product market fit because her having skincare if you follow her on socials or whatever seems like such a good such an organic fit you know what i mean like if she didn't make up i would be like oh that's weird because she seems like a very ayurveda skin care um meditation kind of girly based on whatever i've seen on her instagram or through the interviews or from the way even she's packed you know she's got this very simple chill vibe about her um even makeup wise she seems very like an absolute minimal belly there kind of girly so skin care sits so well with her this is not her brand alone it is a partnership it is a joint venture with tira so the products are exclusively available on tira much like k beauty and nika that is a joint venture as well um i want to say that their branding visuals look fantastic Their price points are really nice too. What I personally find just a little bit odd is that they constantly are on slashed pricing, which I find a little bit weird. Uh, I would assume purely based on that that maybe they're not doing that well sales-wise. This is just an assumption. Um, I want to say that I pulled out the oil-free cleanser from the PR I received. They hosted the event, in fact, very close to my house a few weeks ago when the launch happened. A couple of months ago when the launch happened, I couldn't make it. I was in my first trimester. I was going through major morning sickness at that point. But they sent over every single product, pretty much, from the range. Packaging looked great, felt great. I pulled out the oil-free cleanser and gave it to my husband to use because he has very, very, very oily skin. And I have to say that I was very happy with what his skin felt like before and after. So, gonna give a mention to that. And you and I are going to get into what the moisturizer feels like from a first impressions point of view. Let's go do that. Okay, I want to take a second to say that their monocarton packaging feels absolutely amazing. I really like the design work on this as well. The packaging itself is plastic but still feels really nice of the product too. The formula of the face cleanser was very nice and light. I had some moisturizer on my face earlier in the day and I felt it washing it off very very gently. I did not feel dry after, which is a major plus. 
Coming to the moisturizer, again, there's consistency in packaging and a lot of details, which I always like. Even the tub of it had a really nice feel good, smooth, round feeling. And I was blown away by this moisturizer. Even though it was a cream, it felt like a gel cream hybrid of sorts. And just all in all, immediately felt good when I applied it on the skin. My skin has been really up and down lately and it kind of felt very soothed out. I'm going to go ahead and give this brand based on first impressions a solid 8 out of 10 and I'm actually looking forward to exploring more of their products because they seem so promising and the prices and packaging and all of it looks really good too to me. Another Indian celebrity that has their own skincare brand is Kriti Sanon and Hyphen. Now Hyphen again is one that a lot of you commented for last time and I said okay I definitely want to give this a go. I'm going to show you snippets and talk about it but it will obviously be your first impressions because I haven't deep dived into it enough. Let me take you into those clips. We're going to talk about Kriti Sanon's brand Hyphen and I have three of those products over here with me like I do in classic Anam style before we go into the products because this is going to be our first impressions I've never tried these products before and I'm going to do it along with you in today's video I want to talk about just brand visuals imagery positioning that kind of stuff a tad, a tad bit initially when Kriti Sanon launched Hyphen I was a little bit confused because it didn't seem at least from an audience perspective um, and a avid Bollywood movie buff. I've seen a bunch of her movies and I didn't know that skincare was very on brand for her. Like when I think of celebrities and skincare, Meera Kapoor is easily the first name that comes to my mind. So it was very, uh, oh, let's figure this out and find out how on brand it is. But then when I saw her interviews for the brand as the founder, it seemed very on brand for her like she didn't seem like the brand ambassador she seemed like she knew her products and knew her brand um which was really really cool one of the things that i followed along the launch and i've never received pr i've never worked with them i've never been invited to any of their events so everything i'm telling you is from a very organic point of view just want to put that out there so when i followed along their launch it was very nice to see that these products are at quite reasonable prices exactly speaking we have a 449 rupee barrier cream we have a Golden Hour Glow Serum, which is also the name of my highlighter range with Verified Golden Hour Glow, at uh, 649 rupees. And we have a Ultra Light Water Sunscreen SPF 50 PA++++ plus 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 at 549 rupees, which is really not bad at all. Um, quite an affordable, massy price point overall. So I feel like, and I also have to say, the packaging feels very, very nice. Um, this, for example, I think it's glass. Yeah, it's not even plastic, so it feels very nice and weighty. This is plastic. This this is also glass again. Um, so I want to say that in terms of visuals, branding, the way she communicates about her brand definitely feels like she knows what she's doing. And I like the fact that in their strategy, like I've seen a couple of videos where she's getting papped, like on Instagram and stuff where she's like just walking applying her hyphen lip balm and because of the color the stark packaging of this neon green which is very unique um you can kind of immediately tell that it's her brand she's applying on her lips while getting papped and walking and you know paps are called by most of these pr it's not like they randomly show up uh now you have paps coming out in the open and talking about how 80 percent of the times it is the celebrity's team with a pr manager or whatever uh letting them know that the celebrity is going to be here at such such time so it's all very orchestrated Traded, unfortunately but that is the way the industry works I guess and it's only 20% of the time that they're actually following a celebrity and I've heard some really insane stories about this the kind of tea that goes on behind Bollywood paps and Bollywood in general that I don't get any other tea in my life but the Bollywood tea that somehow finds its way to me really entertains me in my life let me know if you ever want me to do <laughs> a video like that it's gonna get me in a lot of trouble um, if I name names but might be interesting also for content anyway let's not digress let's first use the serum and like i said packaging feels really nice there's a good pump on the front okay it's transparent quite watery ish doesn't feel like much which is actually a nice thing because that means you can wear it in the day also you know what i mean like then that means you cannot um it does not feel heavy greasy feels very nice okay that's interesting i'm gonna go ahead and load up just a little bit more to see if it gets greasy because you know when i'm Doing first impressions i want to try it in all the possible combinations quite nice very non chip chip very 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 non chip chip very lightweight and going on very smoothly so that's nice do we have ingredient information over here 
I clearly don't have the mono cartons on me. The mono cartons will have some information on it. This has oh yeah, Kakadu Plum Hyaluronic Acid. I love hyaluronic acid on everything. Niacinamide and Alpha Arbutin. It will be interesting to know the percentage of these because with skincare, that is something um, that I think is an important factor. How much are you putting in? Legally, I believe with skincare in India, if you have one percent you can claim it um but is that enough in the larger scheme of things for efficacy on skincare that's something you want to consider then you have the barrier repair cream which has ceramides peptides squalane 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 why do i always forget how to pronounce this word squalane um and oatmeal extracts oh this is meant for oily skin this was meant for all skin types now i do not have oily skin so if you want a thorough review of this i would recommend you look elsewhere i'm just going to give a first impressions from a dry skin pov i do have very dry skin and can you see this line in pregnancy my skin has gotten even drier but my oily patches have gotten even oilier it's a really 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 strange combination um of things i that's really nice and nourishing that is really nice and nourishing it's not like rich creamy but it's still creamy i don't know if i'm describing that very well it's not like thick but it's still feeling very soft and luxurious lux forgetting words luxurious <laughs> uh feels nice guys just putting it out there this is not going to be a review this is a first impressions i'm trying this product out for the first i'm going to put a little bit extra here because i think i need to nice yeah it's giving me a very nice glow on the face i don't mind it at all i do not mind it at all okay and then we have the ultra lightweight water sunscreen this is also meant for all skin types how does this open am i opening it right yeah okay i really like this it's like a tube but in a bottle i think applicators like this for sunscreen oh it's very milky oh it's very patla it's very very patla it's not even like the oh it's like really really watery and patla which is nice because if it's lightweight then that's great for application in the day na you don't want anything that's too thick this texture is reminding me a little bit of the hyaluronic acid long lasting sunscreen from the dermaco which has a really nice light moisturizing wala tendency so i reach for that quite a bit but this was a little bit thinner even oh but it's leaving white is it leaving white no wait let's blend it a little bit more blend it a little no no it's not leaving white that's oh it's leaving a beautiful glow that is nice that is nice that is nice that is nice um it is a little bit chip chip now i have to say it is just a little bit tacky I don't necessarily like this. Uh I'm going to go ahead and leave some text on the screen right now to tell you whether it settles or doesn't settle or what it is because I will only be able to gauge that about an hourish in but it feels nice. It like it's feeling nice and nourishing. What I don't like is that it's feeling a little bit tacky. You know what I mean? If you're an oily skin person, I don't know how you're going to feel about this even though this product was meant for oily skin. Uh, I'm a dry skin girl and I'm liking it, so I'm a little bit confused about what you might make of it. All in all, in terms of everything I mentioned, this brand is definitely going to get a thumbs up from me. If I had to rate them out of ten, I would still say this is sitting between six and seven for me. The products seem very promising, but the reason I'm saying between six and seven is because I feel like um, a, of course, is the little bit of bias in there coming from the fact that I need to explore this brand and their other products a little bit more. I also think that they need to do things that don't already exist in the market. What I like. about 82 east for example the pickas brand and i gave a very candid honest review about it in episode 1 of this series um is the fact that forget the whole she seems like an ambassador but she's you know doesn't seem like a founder there's a little bit of a pr issue there or a way she projects it issue there uh but the products with their ingredients or with the way they're trying to do things the direction is unique here i'm seeing stuff that is kind of like i'm sure there are barrier repair creams with ceramides and peptides in the market or that there are you know serums that are giving you that golden hour glow ultra light sunscreen like i said reminded me of the derma for immediately so i want to see them go in a more creative direction what are you doing as a celebrity brand with that much weight behind you differently i'd love to know and figure that out so i'm going to rate this between 6 and 7 let's say 6.5 for now and uh, i'd love to see what they do like a year from now or two years from now with that kind of capital and that kind of ability 
to do more. Tell me if you agree with me or not down below in the comments. So I want to say when it comes to strategy, visual communication and all of that, um, there's definitely a really strong spine going out out there. Again, they have very good price points from what I've seen. I'm sure they're doing business at really large volumes to be able to sustain that. And I'm sure there's a separate business partner entity that's backing her. I don't have enough research on that at the moment as I'm filming this video. If you want me to do just a business breakdown on some of these beauty uh, brands in the Indian market, like just a hardcore business video, let me know in the comments. I would be more than happy to sit down, do the research, bring in the numbers, bring in the stats and do a completely separate nerdy out video on those lines. They seem to be doing stuff, whether it's trends, products, call out of like buzzwords like peptides in fact i have seen so many vertical videos like reels and shorts on how her peptide lip balm is a proper dupe of Rhodes uh, peptide lip balm i've seen it everywhere like everyone seems to be doing it and i think that that kind of virality building is a very smart way for the brand to go because there is some strategy and PR and movement going on there. Coming to the last brand for this video, this is a brand that I have a lot of products from but I've only tried one and I, I think I've only tried one because I'm between moving houses and I just haven't included those many products in the rotation. Also keep in mind when it's makeup, it's easier to pull something into rotation, try it out, do first impressions, reviews in just a couple of tries, even if just not the first one. With skincare, you really want to give things a proper, proper, proper chance. I have been managed to pull it into a category that I don't really get pulled into very easily when it comes to this next brand. I'm talking about Florence by Mills. This brand is owned, founded by Millie Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown obviously is a really popular Hollywood actor and British Hollywood actor. Hollywood British actor. I'm a little bit confused there. And uh, I have the entire range when it comes to everything that's available, I think, on Nika. But this product over here in my hands. I think it's called a Clean Magic. Yeah, Clean Magic Face Wash. I love it. I am so picky about my face washes. I have four face washes in rotation, maybe five at all times. And I'm someone that doesn't use face, wa face wash every day. I use face wash every other day. Or if I've done one of my 3K walks, which I do in the evenings, especially now, um, I will then obviously use face wash because you're sweating, but I have become a fan of this face wash. I think that it is such a good formula. It's non-drying. I have very dry skin. My biggest problem with face wash is that it lands up mm, making me feel so, so, so dry. This doesn't do that. This seems like a very Gen Z millennial hybrid kind of brand when it comes to the way the packaging is, when it comes to the visual communications, when it comes to the branding. There's something very simplistic about it. I love that it says Florence and then it just says by Mills very small over here. I like the way that they have presented the brand. The packaging, the color, it stands out on the shelf. Um, even the interviews that Millie Bobby Brown has given are very interesting. I don't know. Again, it can be so confusing sometimes. I think it's easier for me to absorb things more when it's about the Indian celebrities because there's a bombardment of information when they have a new launch. When it comes to Hollywood stuff, it depends on the kind of pages you follow because obviously it isn't local to me here in Mumbai. Um, but I do genuinely want to say that the few interviews that I have seen of hers with whether it was, um, I think it was one with Drew Barrymore, one on one of those late night shows, she seemed to be really passionate about the brand. And I think that that comes through, which I always appreciate because I feel like if you're not passionate about a brand that you're building kind of shows and then that's not fun even from a consumer or a creator or a just beauty enthusiast POV. You know what I mean? All in all, if I had to rate this brand presently, I'm going to go ahead and give them a seven and a half on 10. I want to explore them more. I like the one formula that I really have deep dived into. In fact, I have one of the masks sitting on my shelf that for whatever reason, every time I think of reaching out to something happens and I forget or I get busy. Um, but there's more I want to explore. So yeah, wow. With that, we come to the end of today's video. If there are any brands out there you want me to go ahead, try, review, Indian, not Indian, international, I'm happy to figure my way around that. I am one of those creators that does not depend on PR to go ahead and try a brand out. I will buy products, try them out, give you my honest, honest, honest thoughts even at the cost of getting thrown off some of those PR lists. It is what it is. Let me know what you think of this series, any missing brands, any other categories you want me to get into down below in the comment section. And you know, I'm always reading, liking, hearting and responding to each and every one of you. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.
Bye. I love you.